Well, hello, everybody. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So I'm going to start a new series here uh, for about the last 10 days or so. Ever since the Hurricane Barrel, we've had uh, a collapse of the heat dome here and uh, pretty much regular rain. It's been making it hard for me to uh, get things done. It's too soft for me to drive the tractor anymore on the ground. Listen, I'm not complaining. We've had a drought and this is a good thing. So uh, I'm going to change gears up. I need to get the fence up here. And so the next few little bit of video series will be about me putting in the gate that I need to keep the cattle out here. Uh, the reason I need to keep the cattle out is I have to do the foundation underneath the shipping containers. And if I try to do that with cattle bumping around, uh, I'm afraid that somebody will lean against the shipping container uh, because they'll be temporarily supported on jacks and the cattle graze right up underneath. They like the where the um, water and condensation drips along the edge of the shipping container. They like to graze that. So they bump it with their heads and I need to keep them out of the uh, of the build site. And up to this point, I, I haven't cared, but now I'm to the point where it would be critical to keep them out. So this next little video series will be about me getting the fence uh, around. In addition, I've ordered a lot of material during the rain. I mean, I didn't have anything else to do. So as it comes in, I'll get some other things done. I can finish up the chicken coop water. Or I can finish up the, uh, I believe, the piston on the dump truck. Uh, there's just a lot of things that I can do. I'll need to wait for it to dry out a little bit before I put the... Um, uh, you know, the temporary blocks underneath the shipping containers because I don't know how, how strong the mud is anymore. And then I was working on the sawmill as well, but I contacted the uh, staff that I asked to come and help me, friends and family, uh, and canceled that uh, because there's nothing to do. We can't, we can't work on this wet ground. So without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into uh, the uh, fence here that I'm working on. And this is uh, halfway into it. So probably a third of the way into it. So here we go. All right. Another hundred plus degree day, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a string and get the string and see how many of these posts I can get in the ground. Uh, try to get them straight. Uh, I didn't bring a level. I'm just be eyeballing it. Uh, but we'll see what I could do with an eyeball. I think I'll be all right. Horses decided to help me out. I don't really need their help. Well, here's a handy skill for you. If you got to put two ropes together, you don't uh, tie them separate as separate entities like that and try to make them one. That won't work. One will come loose and just uh, pull loose. What you do is you put them together as if they're one rope. See that? One rope. And then you just tie a simple uh, knot in it like that. See, I tied it just a simple knot, like the start of your shoelace. I don't know if that's a half hitch or not, but there you go. See, that won't come loose. So now I've got a string that'll give me true from post to post. 
So let me go ahead and, uh, well, I'll put in my first post here. I don't know if I'll put it out a little farther maybe, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna clean up this sight line so that I can get, so there's a lot of brush. There's all these posts. So I'm gonna put you on stop motion while I do that. Alright, now that I've got the old barbed wire all removed, everything cleaned up, I made a path from here through the yawn. I'm going to go ahead and put in the big posts that I know I need. So I'm going to put an 8 inch here, 8 inch down there eventually, but uh, the key points will be this post, the gate post on both sides, and then I have a 4 foot pedestrian gate. So uh, everything then will be built off of that and I'll probably go four foot between a uh, big post and then a two foot put a, another smaller post in between maybe. We'll see. But let me get the uh, big post in and the, uh, the gate post and then we can go from there. logs there. This one's a little crooked I'm putting in. Wish I would have noticed when I bought it. Boys loaded it up. Loaded up a crooked one. Alright, All right, this seems reasonable to me as a good start that uh, this post is leaning in and pitched so I can't really use that but this post looks straight up and down now so those concrete I'm just going to dry dry set them I don't mind pulling the fence out after 10 years and that uh, just makes it easier so their big debate on tinsel strength but I'm not after tinsel strength here I'm, I'm just simply after time and stability. All right. Oh, I meant to say that the good old boys I bought this stuff from, they threw in their broken bags of concrete. I ah, get those out of here. We tired of seeing them. So they threw them in. I didn't have to pay anything for those. So I got a few more extra bags of concrete than I expected. It looks like a storm. And when I looked on the radar, they're all around me. Uh, I, I don't know. I brought a tarp in case I need to cover up. Yeah, it was more because they gave me more than I asked for, a thousand pounds of concrete probably. But let me go ahead now and measure out from this one since I got it every four feet and physically do the, uh, the um, uh, aluminum two and a half inch poles and I'll just get them all in there. Now it's, it's dry packed so I, I could shift it around a little bit. I will go get my level when I'm done but let me, uh, I want to get all these poles in the ground and as much concrete used as possible so I don't <laughs> have to, if any gets ruined, uh, you know, it'll be half again as much as I bought. But I don't want any to get ruined. But I know every four feet I want a uh, aluminum pole, I want the gate, so I'm going to lay all that out right now. Uh, accurate, to, you know, to the actual uh, four foot on center, so. Right. 
my camera keeps cutting out. I don't know if it's a bad SIM card or what's going on, but there's all my pipes in there. Now let me get them all level. And then I'll tamp them down one more time with the tractor. Now that I have them all easy, reasonably square and plumb, I'm going to go ahead and push them down with the tractor. Then I'll do a final tape uh, straightening with the tamping rod. All right, so in the quiet uh, twilight of the evening, I'm gonna call it a night, but uh, y'all can see that I got the fence uh, pipe in. It's looking straight. Uh, I've still gotta tamp it and put it in there. I'm just gonna do dry pour. Again, I mentioned before there's a reason for it, and that's when I wanna pull it out or somebody else. It just crumbles and comes out of it. It's strong enough to hold a post up straight, even in this soil that does a little wiggling, but. My clay is mostly stable, even in the drought, so not a lot of change. I, I don't have to go down. The gates and uh, post uh, for the pedestrian gate and the pipe gate, they'll be a little beefier, but the rest of them can just be just like this. So uh, Anyway, it's, it's too dark for me to record, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up uh, tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. <laughs> 